This is the joys of boxing that no one sees the week before the fight. Can't wait for this week to be over. I hate fight week. I hate it with a passion. He's normally the joker of the pack as well, but we just avoid each other fight week, don't we, Lee? I'm alright. I'm not a patch on the others. Stephen's worse. Today is Tuesday, the press conference day for me and Liam Williams. A lot of people are picking me to lose this fight, so you know that's got me ticking and that's got the fire in my belly for this fight. It'd be nice to rub their noses in it. I'm going to make Liam Williams go in positions he doesn't want to be in. I'm going to back him to the ropes when he doesn't want to be back to the ropes. I'm going to have to make him punch when he wants to rest and I rate him as a fighter, but you know I rate myself as a better fighter than him. I think I can do more things than him. I think I've got a lot more variety than him and I just think this will show Saturday. The more people I pick me and Williams, the better for me when I beat them. The more the more surprises I get. The sooner they realise that, the better. You know, at this press conference today, I promise you now you will hear Gary Lockett say, Liam Williams is the better boxer, Liam Williams is the harder puncher. Because he needs to keep drilling that into Liam Williams to keep Liam Williams believing. There's a lot of ways I could have went about the press conferences if I, if I felt that need, I needed to do that to give me the edge. I'd make Liam Williams not like me. I'd do things in press conferences, but I don't feel I need to do that. I like fighting. I moan when I'm inactive and I moan when I'm not getting fights. So you know, when I'm fighting, I'm happy. There's, you know, there's a big, big carrot angle in front of me and Liam Williams for, the, for this win on Saturday and my aim for this year is to become world champion again. And, you know, Liam Williams is the first person in front of me on that, you know, on that ladder and you know, Liam Williams is the one that I'll deal with. I'm at Foots Island, meeting the fans, good to get down here and see the fans who are going to come out and support us. I'm made to see uh, Terry Flanagan, can't wait to meet him. Yeah, I think he's underrated, he should be out there with the big names, it's time to shine. How you doing, mate? You okay? Yeah. Get a picture, yeah? Yeah. Terry Flanagan, the main man. So far, he's doing well, to be honest. Longest winning streak in boxing out of all British boxers at the moment. But I think after Petrov, time to step up and hope Terry does the job quick. It's good to meet the fans and stuff, but it's a bit hard with being fight week and wanting to get home and just chill out and relax for the fight. But yeah, it's good, good for the fans. Terry represents the working class of Manchester better than Crawler does. Crawler brings in the numbers, Ter Terry brings the grit. Yeah, the general fans and local people know how good I am, and yeah, I'm going to start getting noticed more, which is good. Getting in. Here we go, press conference time. It's a really special fight, this one, isn't it? But I honestly don't know how this fight's going to pan out, and that's why it's such a good fight. Everybody thinks it's going to be a close fight. I think it's going to be a close fight, but I'm going to win. You know, all that bet and stuff. None of our matters. It's just it's all a load of crap, really. And at the end of the day, there's two men having a fight. I think he's a good fighter, but a lot of things will play its part on Saturday. And then them things will be in my favour. Well, as we both said, the fight speaks for itself. It's going to be a very good fight, which I'm pretty sure everyone will enjoy. There's no need to talk crap. You're not going to fight a unification in the, in the future if you don't win this fight. This is the most important fight. He wins his fight Saturday night and everything opens up for him. Liam Smith is without doubt one of the best fighters Britain has, but because he hasn't had the platform to showcase his skills, he'll have everyone talking Sunday morning how good he is. No, oh God, he's trying to say, I'm finished after the, the Canelo fight. But I know he's just trying to make me doubt myself. You know, sometimes these things get twisted and I was fuming with that. But I think it was done to sell the fight. I don't know who did it, but I was fuming with that. And that shows a level of disrespect that you don't ever see from me. We had a press conference which went very smoothly. Everything went to plan. It was nice and respectful. The fight tells itself there's no need to be ripping each other off and talking crap, but I don't take too much from the stay downs, to be honest with you. People say, you know, um, I seen fear in his eyes, and that's bullshit. People saying it's a step up, quite rightly so. It is a step up, um, but it's, it's one that <clears throat> it's one that's exciting me because it just gives me that opportunity to 
to, you know, to really shine and, and get that, um, that interim world belt now. They've arranged some kind of meet and greet, go and see some fans, sign some things, take some pictures. Hopefully they'll kit us out with some new clothes as well, so we've got our luck now. You all right? Good one, yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. Just killing a couple of hours, really, just doing whatever we can to take my mind off, off everything, you know, and um, just something to just relax. There's a lot of Welsh people that are going to be there Saturday night in full voice, very excited. And um, Welsh fight fans are, you know, they're always very passionate, always really get behind me, um, always screaming the place down. They just get very excited by these big fights. So, again, I hope I can bring a big win home for them. Just here at the, um, at the print works now, Manchester. Just about to get on and do our um, public workout. A little bit of shadow boxing, pad work just to show some fans, you know, a little bit of what we do, basically. The fight week's the chance where, you know, I get a chance to be boss for the week. I call the shots. Liam's not had the red carpet treatment. There were points where he must have felt like packing it in because he was nearly in tears. He's an angry man on fight week, but obviously I have to try and play uh, the Carmen influence, I suppose, and I think, you know, it helps because I've been there myself. Joe Gallagher will feel exactly the same. It's very, very nerve-wracking for the simple reason is it's out of your hands. There's nothing else we could have done, I don't think. If all doesn't go to plan, there'll be no excuses. The week of the fight, I always spend a favour of money on uh, sweet treats, chocolates, donuts, cakes, ice cream. Yes, they went spent just shy of 200 pounds on the just crap. It kind of gives me something to look forward to, and um, I was just about to put them in a the freezer and. Um, I'm sniffing them and thinking, oh my God, only a couple of days away now. British super welterweight champion.